Hi, you're watching Surfline Trick Tips with me, Taylor Knox, and we're going to talk about doing some cutbacks. Well, basically, there's two types of cutbacks. There's the front side one and the back side one. And uh, within that, there's about 100 different varieties <laughs> you could possibly do. But we're going to just talk about a couple today, first being the front side one. And I think, you know, most people that surf, they can relate to that turn. Most people, you know, can do it. Um, I'm just going to talk about how I approach it. When I go into a cutback, I kind of, you know, I, come, I like to get a good deep bottom turn and come off the bottom really heavy on the back foot. And then you, as you're coming up the face, you kind of shift your weight more, a little bit more equally to the front. Turn your hips and arms to go with your body. And I, and I, I think it always helps to kind of have your head follow your body as well. I do move my back foot a little bit, you know. Sometimes going down the line, like do a, a nice high line, and I'll have my foot kind of up here. And then as I'm shifting down to the bottom, I'll, you know, I'll move it back maybe one or two inches, like right in between the fins is where I really like to have my foot. And then I just, you know, you just, you can just really like push into that, and the board, you know, it just wants to, sh it should just want to squirt up the wave pretty quick. And then, you know, as you get to the crest of the wave. You're going to want to put your, your board right on the edge of it if you can, and that's where you're going to get the most speed, and you're going to want to drive your board around like this, and you're going to want to use that bottom curve of the wave. You want to get to the, all the way to the bottom so it, it kind of wraps around in a perfect, in a nice circle. I think normally uh, backside bottom turns are a little stronger and easier to kind of get low on. And um, so when you go into the backside, you're actually low in the bottom turn, and then you extend as you come up backside. You kind of guide your board up into the spot, and then you can really push hard on your back foot, but you're ex also extending your body a little bit more um, vertically. And you, I mean, your, your body is un uncompressing, not decompressing. <laughs> One really good tip that I learned watching the videos of Tom Kern was he was always really centered over his board and he didn't let his limbs fly off to the back because that always slowed him down. So I mean, he was always so centered and technically perfect. It's, it's, I mean, it's unreal. When a guy does it right, you know, it's, it's shocking how much force and, and, and beautiful it can look. It's pretty, it's pretty cool.